I'm going to make the sponge cake for the strawberry charlotte. I have a typical sponge cake pan here and I'm going to, I, I greased it lightly and now I'm going to line it with parchment paper to help me get the cake out later and also to roll it up. We're going to make a rolled sponge cake, like a jelly roll. And we're going to then cut it into spiral pieces. And that's what we're going to use to line the outside. So when you turn the mousse over later, the Charlotte, you're gonna see all these beautiful spirals. And then when you cut into it, you'll see this beautiful strawberry mousse. So here's a piece of parchment paper. And we put it right on the greased pan. And I can see how the corners are kind of crunched up. That's gonna make your cake crunch up. Get a pair of scissors and just make a slit like that. And now you can fit them around a lot more nicely. And you don't have crinkles, or not as many anyway. So we do that in all four corners. Okay, so that's nicely lined. And now what we want to do is also grease this because we're gonna put the cake in there and you want it to come out later. So we're gonna take some of our cooking spray. This is the kind that has flour in it. And there, our pan is ready. So now I'll go get the ingredients and we'll put together the cake and then we'll get it in the oven. Now we're going to make the sponge cake for the strawberry Charlotte. I have two mixer bowls and I have five eggs that are separated. The yolks, the five yolks are in this one and the five whites are in this one. I'm gonna work with the yolks first. <clears throat> I also have three quarters of a cup of sugar and in this bowl I have one cup of cake flour which is a much lighter flour, it's got a little bit of cornstarch in it, um, half a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna need some vanilla too but first I wanna start with the egg yolks. I'm going to put them on my mixer just mix them up until they get well blended, the, the whole yolks. Okay, now I'm going to add a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. Mmm, wonderful. And now I'm going to start adding my sugar slowly, and then I'm going to just let this continue beating until it's light and lemon colored. Sorry, had something else in the oven. Here we go. Here. Now we'll let it beat for about three minutes until it's nice and light and lemon colored. There. It's nice and lemon colored. Now I'm going to sift the flour over it and we sift just to make sure there aren't any little things in there. And now I'm going to fold the flour into the egg yolks. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna beat my egg whites. Don't wanna waste any time here. And I'll beat the egg whites until they're stiff while I'm folding the flour into the egg yolks. start this off, I will take about a third of the whites to loosen up the yolks and flour mixture. This part you can be a little bit rough with. Not too rough, but a little bit. You just want to loosen that up because if you try putting all the egg whites in here right now, very, very difficult to blend it. Now my oven is on at 375 degrees. 
And this cake, because it's so thin in the pan, it's only going to take maybe 15, 16 minutes to bake. Again, all ovens are different. You want to start maybe checking it at around 12, 13 minutes and just so that touch it and see if it's spongy. If, it, if you touch it and it doesn't come back, ain't ready, folks. Okay, almost. I still see some whites in there. In some sponge cake recipes, at this point, you would add a couple of tablespoons of melted butter and fold that in. That's tough to fold in. Just takes a little bit more time, but I like this recipe better. Oh, my pan's over here. Thought I left it on the stove. Now, we're going to put it all in there. You can almost see all the bubbles of air in the batter. That's good. That means you didn't beat it too hard. My little offset, which I love. To the edge. And just try to keep it as even as possible. It, is, it feels spongy at this point. Maybe that's why they call it a sponge cake. so we don't have a big dip in the middle. Now, into the oven, 15, 16 minutes, and then I'll show you how we turn it out because that's a very important step. Our sponge cake is almost ready to come out of the oven, but we need to get something ready for it before it comes out, something that's very important because you need to move quickly when you take this out of the oven. You get a Regular tea towel. Now you want a tea towel that doesn't have a fuzzy nap on it because then that'll get into your cake. So this is like a linen-y one. Okay. And what you want to do is take some confectioner's sugar and a sifter. You want to cover the towel where the cake is going to go. This will help not only add some flavor to the cake, but it will also help you unmold the cake later on. Because what you're going to do is when you get it out of the oven, you're going to roll it up and then we're going to put it in the towel, all rolled up, on a rack to cool completely. Once it's cooled completely, then we can fill it and work with it. So there we go. And we've got about one more minute before our cake comes out of the oven. Here's our sponge cake out of the oven. Looking good. I need to unmold it onto this towel. Fast. Now we need to peel off all of this wax paper while it's still warm. You need to do this while it's warm because if you try, if you let it get too cool and you try rolling the cake, it's going to crack and break. Now normally for a regular sponge cake that you would serve, you would roll from the short side up. But I'm going to roll long side. And you just, yep, roll it in the towel. You just make a nice tight roll. Put it on your rack, leave it alone, let it cool completely. Our sponge cake is nicely cooled. Now I'm going to carefully unroll it. It's going to stay almost rolled up. It wants to stay in that position. Unroll it and take off. And see it's still kind of rolled up there. Now we're going to take a can of strawberry pie filling. You could have taken um, a jar of jam and it could be any flavor, but since we are doing strawberry Charlotte, we're going to use strawberry pie filling. Now, um, we're going to have to spread this carefully. I have my offset spatula. Just spread it all around. You don't want to have a filling that's got huge chunks of fruit in it because it's just not going to roll really well later. So you have to be kind of careful. And just get it evenly on there. Bring it all the way to the end if you can. One 
pocket that's thicker than the other. Smooth it out. It's for me for later. Okay, and now re-roll the cake without the towel. And this towel needs some serious laundering now. So, what I didn't tell you before is when I took the cake out before I rolled it up in the towel, I said, oops, off camera, I had forgotten to trim the edges. You wanna take a knife and just trim slightly, the smallest amount, all four sides. That way the cake will keep from cracking too much. Okay, now, put that on my board. Get rid of my messy towel. And now what I have here is I have that four quart glass bowl, which I lightly sprayed with cooking spray. That's to give you a guarantee that your mold is gonna come out later. And now I'm going to cut these into rounds and always nice side out because that's what you're gonna see. And we just keep cutting and filling until we fill the entire bowl. You have to kind of squish it down because it's got to be a flat surface on the bottom, although that won't make that much of a difference. Okay, let's just squish these in. Now I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to go in a corner and lick my fingers, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to make the filling. Okay. Now we're going to make the filling for that lined bowl. And I started by draining my strawberries. Now what I have here is a frozen package, 15 and a half ounces of frozen strawberry in syrup. You do not want to get the strawberries that are just frozen whole and in a bag because we want that syrup. So we drain that and I'm going to take the strawberries and dump them in my food processor. Then I'm going to take all of this juice and I'll put it in a small saucepan And right here I have one tablespoon of gelatin, or one envelope. Give that a mix. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the stove and I'm just going to warm this for a few minutes so that the gelatin dissolves. So, be right back. All right, my gelatin is dissolved and it's just warm, it's like, baby bath water warm. And I'm going to just pulse these strawberries. I, like I said, I don't want big chunks. Now I'm gonna add this to the strawberries. And that's that. Now we're gonna Put this aside. I need to get out my mixer. And I took my mixer bowl and the wire whisk and I had it in my refrigerator for about three or four hours to make sure they're really cold. And then I have one and three quarter cups of very cold heavy cream. And we're gonna mix this to soft peaks. We don't want this to be whipped hard. I want it to be soft peaks. That's going to take about three or four minutes. All right, here we go. That's soft. See, it's still soft. Okay, now we're going to add the strawberry mixture to this. all of that goodness out of there. And then I'm going to just pour it into this mold after I combine these two. You don't have to be too careful about this, but you do want to get it all combined, but you don't have to worry about deflating it. It's going to set up because of the gelatin that's in there. 
Now, if you wanted to, I'm just going to pour this mixture in like that. If you wanted to, you could put in some whole strawberries, pieces of strawberries inside. But we like to keep it this way and serve the strawberries on the side if you want it. Some people just like the straight mousse without the chunks in it. This is not thick right now, but it's going to thicken up in the, in the mousse. This would make a great drink right now. And just pour it in. And just smooth your top. I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and in the refrigerator it goes. So now comes the fun part. Everything's done and it's time to unmold. Cross your fingers. And there is our strawberry Charlotte. And it needs a little bit of adornment, I think. So let's give it a nice big swirl. Okay, and then a little strawberry on top. And there's our strawberry dessert.